People ask me all the time, where should I take my car for service? Should I take it back to the dealer or should I take it to an independent repair shop? Well, today I'm at Colonial Subaru in Danbury, Connecticut, and I'm gonna peel back the curtain on what happens when your car goes into service at the dealership. Hi, my name is Art, the service director for Colonial Subaru in Danbury, Connecticut. I've been with the company for 30 years. In 30 years, a lot has changed in the service industry, but one thing that hasn't is good old fashioned customer service. I'm gonna show you what happens when you bring your car in for service with us. Hi, my name's Ethan. I'm one of the express technicians that'll be working on your vehicle. We really appreciate your business. Thank you. My name is Ryan. I'll be taking care of you. You can hop on out. Just gonna grab your mileage. All right, just gonna do a quick walk around, see how everything looks. Okay. Um, come on in, everything looks pretty good. All right, Ava, I see we did the bigger service last time, so you're going to be due for the service A today. Okay. Um, that's going to be the oil change, the tire rotation. Uh, we're going to do a couple inspections, make sure everything looks good here. Um, and if anything comes up, I'll come let you know. Okay. okay? Sounds good. Yep. All right. We are all set. Great. Thanks very much. All right, we're gonna check the air filter now. Make sure it's not clogged. If it's too, has too much particulate in it, it can affect the fuel economy of the vehicle. This one looks good. Next, I'm gonna do a little visual inspection. Check the drive belt. Look for any major oil leaks. Not seeing anything. So I'm gonna check the brake fluid here next. Got a little tool here that'll tell me how much moisture is in the brake fluid. Just want to make sure there's not too much moisture in there. That can cause premature wear of the calipers. Check our power steering fluid level. It's right at the cold mark. I'm going to top off the washer fluid here. Check the antifreeze level and the overflow. Looks like you can use a little splash. There we go. Now I'm gonna sign into our program here. This is gonna allow me to upload pictures and videos of the vehicle. It sends it up to the advisor so the customer can see. I'm gonna open up our multi-point inspection here. Open up my camera. We're gonna take a video. Lights. See, our low beams are working. High beams, good. Turn signals, there's left, there's right. Go around the back of the vehicle here. Brakes. All of our brake lights are working. Turn signals. Left's working. Right. Reverse. 
Our reverse lights are working. License plate lights are working. Visually inspecting the car. Back around to the front. Doing a visual inspection here. Nice and tight. The rubber's not damaged. While I let the oil drain here, I'll do our multi-point inspection. Go ahead and check for play in the tire rod, the ball joints. Move over to the other side. Same thing. I'm check underneath. Check our sway bar links, our sway bar bushings. Those are nice and tight. Take a look at the strut, make sure it's not leaking. Looks nice and dry. Our CV boots are good and dry. Not throwing grease. We'll take a look under the engine for any leaks. Looks like we got a little bit of a, some seepage going on here. We'll move over to this side. Look at our CV joints, they look good. Our strut looks good. Again, we'll check our sway bar bushings, our sway bar end links. Everything looks good under here. Transmission pan's nice and dry. Look at the exhaust here, make sure nothing's rotting away. We'll move to the back here, check the carrier bearing for excessive play. Check the U-joints. U-joints feel good. Now look at our bushings here. These look okay. Moving on to the rear. We're looking at our CV joints. They look good. Rear struts aren't leaking. Sway bar bushings. Sway bar end links. Subframe bushings look good. Our exhaust is starting to get a little rusty, but not leaking yet. I don't see any signs of it leaking. Move over. Sway bar bushings. Sway bar end links. Check the control arm bushings. Check the condition of the mufflers, make sure they're not rotting away. Now I'm going to move on and check the tire pressures. none of the tires are leaking and that they're set to the proper pressures. Move over to the other side here. notice that this one's missing a cap I'll be sure to put a new one on there
Now I'm going to log back onto our program. I'm going to take pictures of each tire. Normally measure the inside and the outside, make sure one's not wearing more than the other. to the rear tires here. Okay. I'll grab my brake measurement tool. And now we'll measure the brakes. side here. Okay, move to the rear. save that and I'll send this up to our service advisors so they can show the customer that way you can see your brakes your tire measurements and uh, anything else that we recommend so here's our Mosley point inspection we checked our bulbs and lights everything looked good our windshield wipers windshield condition was good everything looks okay with the emergency brakes the horn operation the fuel cap gasket looks good our engine air filter was good Fluids were all good. We topped off our antifreeze. We're gonna scroll down here. Battery terminals look good. All of our suspension looked good. Our steering gearbox, mufflers and exhausts look good. No major leaks. All of our boots look good. Transmission, fluid level and everything looked okay. A few lines and connections, nuts and bolts on body chassis and all of our wheel bearings. I didn't hear any wheel bearings. We're going to go in and put our tire measurements here. I had about 7.30 seconds all the way around, and they weren't wearing unevenly, so I'm going to put good in here. And then our brake measurements, we had 9 millimeters in the front, and we had 8 millimeters in the rear. I'm going to go ahead and complete this inspection, and it'll go up to our advisor. just received back the multi-point inspection from the technician uh, looks like everything was in great shape tires are good brakes are good filters are in good shape so nothing's needed we will send this off to the customer so they can review it um, we're going to send this via text and email so she can see the pictures from the inspection all right, nothing's needed. Just going to give her a quick call to let her know that everything was in great shape um, and to authorize us just to move forward with the oil change. Hey, Ava, it's Ryan from Colonial Subaru. Just wanted to give you a call um, to let you know I, I sent you the multi point inspection. Um, overall, everything is in great shape. There are no additional recommendations at this time. All right, great. We're just going to move forward with the oil change, and I'll give you another update once we wrap everything up. Thanks. Okay. We'll get back to the oil change. I'm going to place our oil filter here. Throw this one in the bucket. Grab a new filter from in here. And wipe off the mating surface. Make sure that's nice and clean. And spin our new filter on. Make sure that's good and tight. Take our drain plug here. 
Take the old crush washer off. Dry it up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put a new crush washer on there. Put our new crush washer on here. Let's thread it back in. Grab my torque wrench. Torque our drain plug to spec. Okay. Go ahead and grab some brake clean and a rag. Clean up here. Move our drain bucket out of the way. Now we'll bring it down. Okay. Take our oil cap off. Put that here so I don't forget to put that back on. And I'll print our oil sticker here. This is conventional oil. Type in our mileage. Put that to the side for now. Go ahead and fill the car with oil. This will automatically stop once it's reached the amount. In this case, the six cylinders take seven and a half. Put our oil cap back on. Make sure that's snug. Now we'll put our sticker in the window so I can get start the car so I can get a proper measurement of the oil. Now we'll go ahead and check our oil level. Give that a wipe. Put that back in. As you can see, we're right up to our F for full. Make sure everything's tight. Close the hood here. Make sure the hood's closed. And we're all set. Hey Ava, your car, good, your car is all set. Um, we went over the multi-point inspection already. Um, you got that in your text or email. Uh, just make sure to review the pictures, just so you're familiar with everything. Um, everything was good. So that's it for today. All right, here is your uh, invoice, and your car is right outside that's here. All right. Hey, this is Corey, General Manager at Colonial Subaru, and thank you for taking the time to watch our video. You see, I got into the car business 20 years ago to change the perception of the car business. And I hope with a little bit of behind the scenes, 
you understand how important the safety and reliability of your Subaru is to our team. We look forward to seeing you at your next service visit.